Gabrielle Bossy, born in 1874 and died in 1950, was a Catholic mystic and layperson who lived in France in the 20th century. On very rare occasions in her early life, Gabrielle had been surprised by a mysterious voice, which she heard and felt with awe, and sometimes anxious questionings, which she perceived to be the voice of Christ. It was only at the age of 62, however, that this touching dialogue with the inner voice began in earnest, continuing, at least in her notes, until two weeks before her death on June 9, 1950. The journal that she kept of her dialogue with the inner voice has been published in numerous languages under the title He and I and has become a source of deep inspiration and edification for those who read it. Below are a few excerpts from this extraordinary dialogue between the inner voice and Gabrielle. April 12, 1945. In the train station at Angers. Coming from Paris I had a seat in spite of the dense crowd. You see what great care I take of my own. Even in the tumult I draw them into solitude where the heart is on the alert to hear the beloved. Didn't I say to them in the past, when I sent you out without purse or staff did you lack anything? And they answered, nothing. Lord, it is often I who am lacking. For these omissions humble yourself, and don't be astonished by them. Wish to be cured of this lack of carefulness in my service. Take frequent stock not only of the value of your actions, but above all, of the value of your motive in doing them, the forthrightness of your will to glorify me. Perhaps if you paid attention more often to what you do for me, you would intensify your fervor and tenderness. You would be more faithful in the details, these precious details that can earn so much. They are the specks of goodness that fill life. You get the picture, the invisible grains of sand that make up the immense Sahara. Take great care in the very little things, my Gabrielle. Say to yourself, they are made to the measure of my little nature. And this thought will keep you humble. Have you noticed how often the work of the humble has to be done again? Put all your heart into it, knowing that you please me. And since you want to live for me, since you want to see everything in relation to me, and pattern your life after me, then consider how short the time is that remains for you on earth. You can give me glory in that time. Give it to me unstintingly. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you.